What's up, everybody, and welcome in. We got Tiny House Sim today that we're going to be checking out. We've played Construction Sim, Contractville, and so many others in this uh, realm and space of the simulators. A uh, huge shout out out to Far From Sky for giving us early access to Tiny House Sim. We're going to be hopping right in and seeing what it's all about running our own business, making some tiny homes. All right, and here we are. Looks like our Uncle Harry's already reaching out to us. Hey, kiddo, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Guess what? I left you my car. Yep, it's all yours. Take it for a spin. Well, thanks, Uncle Harry. Now listen up. I'll send you a location of my shop. Head over there, and we'll talk more. All right, let's get on over to the shop. Keep in mind, this game is in early access here. Everything is always subject to change with these games, but uh, I'll catch you guys when we're... Looks like we have arrived at our tiny house sim workshop. Ooh, right on the hood there. Um, there we go. Look at that. So that is the tiny island. We have an entire little island to explore, and I assume... We're going to be delivering off these finished tiny homes off to hopefully some happy customers here. But let's go inside. Let's check it out. Let's see what it's all about. So it looks like press the tab button and navigate between menus to view and manage tasks. Go to the mail tab. All right. There it is, our first email from Chris. Hey there, so funny story. Thought I could handle a few small upgrades in my tiny house. You know, expanding the bathroom, turning my bachelor pad bedroom into something a bit more uh, couple friendly. My girlfriend is moving in soon, and let's just say things didn't go according to plan. Turns out I'm way better at breaking things than fixing them. The bathroom, a complete disaster. And the bed frame, I tried to adjust it. Adjust is now a weird modern art piece. I need your help urgently before she moves in and sees this chaos. Can you rescue me from this DIY nightmare? Thanks a ton, Chris. Well, looks like we have no option but to help out Chris here. Let's see uh, how much he botched this up. All right, looks like he has got quite the little tiny house here. Looks like almost uh, two floors. Let's go ahead and take a look around. Nice baseball bat by the door. A little security. I get it. I get it. Um. All right, yeah, so it does look like we have quite a bit to do in here. Now you can see all this is unfinished. Uh, we have a build, destroy, remove, paint, and buy. Looks like we got to buy 85 items, uh, remove about 19, destroy a bunch of walls, build some walls, and then, of course, paint those. So, yeah, it looks like uh, we go into the main room here. This is our living room. We need to paint, refloor, buy all of the uh, artwork, and etc. And then... Uh, Looks like a little bit of building, some destroying that we got to do in here. And then, of course, looks like we are pretty much removing most of this. So uh, let's get started. I'll kind of check in, shorten it up for you guys as we uh, check out some of these tools, though. We did take a quick look at the game here. So it looks like we do have a building hammer, a selling gun, a painting uh, tool of sorts. Looks like... Uh, some sort of battery powered aerosol and then of course our uh, sledgehammer which we already can see we have uh quite a bit to destroy here but let's get to it i think we'll just start to uh, hammer it away i do like this uh little scroll wheel kind of changes the size on that makes it really convenient there we go destroy 100 percent easy peasy all right so let's figure out what we got to remove out of here it looked like there was a bed but through here okay oh yeah this guy needs a lot of help here oh okay so look at this here we got to put up a wall in here might as well do that before we uh, complete anything oh nice and it just kind of grids out and what do you know just like that they start falling in and we got ourselves our first wall put down i think that's all we have to do with the hammers here today uh Let's see what we can sell now. If we take a look. They want us to sell three windows, the TV, a bear, a wolf, a wall clock. 
All right, we got the TV gone. Oh, maybe we weren't supposed to sell that. So sorry, Chris, if uh, you wanted to keep that TV. You can see up here we got, uh, yeah, it was, it, was def it was definitely not his TV. Okay, so we have to sell everything up here. It's nice that it's all highlighted for us. Get rid of all this. Ooh, self-healing walls, too. Thought one of these windows had to go. Yeah, this one right here. Okay, we're missing one item. I guess I'll, we'll have to buy him a TV back. Is this? Yeah, all right. Let's take a look, see what we got to paint, and we have a ton of stuff to buy. Does it tell us what kind? Okay, yeah, it's this one right here. We'll buy this. So I'm not entirely sure if they're wanting us to... Okay. You just want me to put it on this little thing, huh? Look at that. Kind of odd, but you know, uh, at the request of him, we'll, uh, we'll abide by it. I'm guessing they want us to do the same over here. Kind of looks that way. Let's just go for it. Very weird choice, especially considering it showed as wood, but I'll trust it. Just to put this too. Oh, okay. Yep. So it does know. So as you select the different uh, types of wood, it seems like it kind of just highlights the areas that need to be in that uh, that style. So I'm wondering if we can sell off the other extras. I would assume so. It does look like there was a way to. Okay. It, it holds orientation. That's nice. It almost looked like we could rotate it there, as you can see the little paintbrushes change, but there we go. Anything in there? Nope. Alright, so let's see if we can sell this. We can. Good, good, good. Okay, so up here it looks like uh that's all we're gonna be doing. I'm surprised we didn't have to paint or anything. So we got the uh, 19 items removed. And it is kind of nice. We just hit that buy button and it right away we're good to go. I think we put one right there. Need another one. Let's see. Kind of try to match these up a little bit. We'll kind of put one in the corner. Make this the uh, kind of focus wall of everything. Got a bed. Yeah, this is a uh, big, tiny home. Can't even imagine toting around something this big. All right, so we need the Nimbus desk. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Looks like R is grid precise. Ooh, very nice. Gotta like that. All right, it doesn't look the best. We'll let uh, you know. We'll let Chris figure it out. Put that chair there. Looks like we're buying them a new PC. We need to buy another one of these. So it does look like, hold on, let's take a look at this. Yeah, so you can customize every detail of these storage units. We've just been kind of going with what they give us, which I'm sure is pretty bland, but we could go, we could go wild with this. It looks like. He's painting right there. You know, maybe maybe he'll put like a screen up right here so you can just kind of like drape it down when you're watching movies. That'd be kind of cool. So it looks like uh, this bedroom's complete now. Let's head on over to the other side. This one definitely needs a lot more work. Yeah, kind of like a music room slash game room. So let's buy the dartboard. I like that it just puts it right you know, I'll put this right below there. Somewhere to store your darts. That tabletop game. 
bucks. A little storage unit. Yeah, so I love that it just kind of puts you right on the correct item. So if you need to kind of fly through a lot of these or you're trying to get a lot of progress done, uh, this is definitely handy. Not personally what I would do, but I'm assuming here in the beginning, I did see when we hit the tab, I'll kind of pull it up here in a second, but uh, under the emails, has it right here, join an auction, make your own tiny house. And we do have other uh, missions already in here and uh, contracts to take. So it does look like you could probably free build in the game and uh, make your own creations and auction them off and see how much money you can make from those. Sounds pretty cool. <clears throat> had to get a little unconventional with that we did have to sell off some of the stuff but the game does know that we sold it so it was a nice easy click through to get that back and we are on to finishing the bottom section of this tiny home so i see check marks on just about everything we need to grab the chair from down here which does look like we can just grab it climb on up those stairs and boom this room should be 100% as well. It looks like in here we're going to need to buy some things. We need to buy him a new TV. So that, you know what? Let's actually get that taken care of. You can see we're currently at a one star out of three. Um, got projectors. Here it is. The Velocity TV. There you go. Sorry about that, Chris. He's going to look at his TV and be like, what the heck? This thing looks brand new. All right, so it looks like we need to buy some of this paint. It'll be the first time painting here. Oh, look at that. Ooh, and we got some, a uh, little bit of physics for that. Ooh, kind of like that. You know, I bet we're probably painting these walls down here. We're just gonna have to take our time with those ones. And I catch some of the spots that we had some overspray on. Surprised over here didn't want us to paint. Okay, so let's see what else we need. Uh, okay, we got marble. Oh, this is the bathroom. I love the system in this game. It's uh, it's very intuitive. It's just kind of like um, your demolition and your building, or tile and similar items is uh you know the same so it's kind of cool all right so it does look like yeah we got a little variation on the floor here there we go see where they want this wood at okay looks like he put some of it down it was a, it was a good try you know i've seen some bad diy stuff in my day uh Specifically my first home. You know, you start taking stuff apart to do little improvements around the house and uh I tell you you find some pretty crazy stuff. Took a painting off of a wall once. Came with the house, and I knew why it came with the house, because I took it off and uh there was about like fifty poles with a hammer in the back like uh for a nail trying to hang a painting properly sometimes you just gotta call a friend let me tell you the fact that it's registering properly as being completed is pretty cool I had that issue in other games before where it thinks jobs aren't done and that kind of thing but because it's just like a nice little outline there look at that nice and boxed out all right so i'm guessing this is gonna go on the walls well, I don't really agree with this choice. Kind of looks like house siding. What Chris wants. That's what the man wants. I mean, look how fast that is. That's great. Keeps you moving. You can play it. It's fast or slow. Oh, fast as slow as you want, right as I'm saying it. All right. Let's fix that. But see, it knows. It knows that it was incorrect. I love that. All right. 
What else we need for here? All right, so it looks like this is going to be a bathroom, laundry room, shower. And we do have to add some windows in here. So I think we put the windows in last. Let's sell off all of this stuff. Get rid of that. Hey, not too shabby. I, you know, I probably would have just painted these walls, to be honest with you. Or chose, like, a similar tile to go throughout. But, you know, multi-purpose, what do I know? Same kind of thing there. A little, little off-skew kind of thing. We'll put a little potted plant down here. Air dryer. Small mirror. Looks like we got hanging plants. Hot wall. Yeah, we'll just put that right there. Feel like you're in the jungle. One more. Right up there in the corner. We'll kind of scoop that guy over. There we go. I think that finishes off that room as well. Alright, looks like some paint in here. There we go. So building's done, destroying's done, removing, painting. Looks like we just have a few more items to buy for this main room. Let's get them out of the way here. And we'll be on to our next little build. I don't know where they want me to put that. That's gigantic. I'll we'll put the deer head there. Uh, a little potted plant by the door there. More hanging wall vines. I would love the ability to put in custom images. That'd be kind of fun. As we have fully completed it, we got some new windows in there. We have fully put in a bathroom, laundry room, a upstairs like music studio slash storage area. And then we come over here. And we got their bedroom. Perfect for a couple to hit the road and enjoy their tiny house. Make sure we sell off this stuff. Keep our profits. Close that up. Close the door. And look at that. Shift return will finish out the job. Curious to see what happens next if we have to deliver this out. And, uh, you know, what kind of things we're going to get from Chris here. Seems like we saved him in a pickle. And, uh... He'll be on the road in no time. Look at this thing. Three wheels on the back of that. Oh, yes. Holy, we get to deliver it. We get to go meet Chris. All right, let's go. Let's see if this thing can pull it. We have to press T to attach the trailer. Whoa. We are on our way. Let me tell you, everybody move out of the way. Towards the trailer village marked on your mini map. Whoa! What are these guys doing? No! He's driving through me! No! All right, we're flying. And that looks like where we are going to be uh, delivering that today. <laughs> oh no. We are stuck. Let's try to detach and maybe reattach the trailer. Or I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. Okay, we've gotten it unstuck. We're on our way again. I'm sorry about this guy's yard. But hopefully we can uh, make our way through this gate. Give me a tight squeeze. Ugh. All right. We're not listening to traffic laws anymore. Let me tell you what. Oh, we're fishtailing. Watch out, watch out. There we go. On to the open road. You kind of wish we could maybe get a hood camera. That'd be kind of nice for this. As it is a little hard to tell where my truck is with a uh, trailer this big. I guess we can kind of do a little offset. We pass by the airport. This is where we started at. And here we are. We are now off-roading with the trailer. And it looks like Chris has got himself a nice little plot over here. 
right by the lake. He's got the windmills in the background with the uh, tulips. Ooh. Back it up. Uh oh. Back it up. And detach. All right. And there it is. It has been delivered for Chris. And we are going to head on back to our shop. And see what else we can uh, get building here. So this is very interesting. It looks like it has brought us to a, a different shop. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, okay. So look at this. We can buy our trailers. Oh, this one's called the Cosmo. Well, I think you know we're going to have to choose this one for our next project. So this looks like kind of the free build. We got nice little uh, Horizon Pro, the Radiance, the Serenity, the Bliss Line, Cosmo, and the Harmony. Well, you know what we got to do. We're taking the Cosmo. And then you can choose the size, small, medium, or large. Like I said, I've been wanting to experiment making a tiny little house here. So let's, uh, <clears throat> like I've said, I've been wanting to make a uh, tiny little house here. So I think we'll buy this small trailer. Then it does look like, look at this. We have different roof types we can put on there and choose from, as well as the scaling on that too. I think we do something like that. The typical shingle roof. Roof color. Let's make it nice and dark. Frame color. I'm thinking we go. Hear me out on this. We're going to go with like a forest green. Trailer color. I think we keep it black. Well, and it looks like that's all we get to the demo. This game is coming out on November 5th of this year. We should see it uh, coming out. There will be also, I believe, a demo released alongside this too. If you guys want to check it out yourself, uh, it looks like there's all sorts of different features. There's going to be exploration, things to find out in the world, uh, you know, creating unique homes for clients, discovering varied landscapes, and of course, delivering them to those clients on the island so uh looks like we're gonna be able to upgrade the business and then uh obviously just kind of find some cool cool areas i'm hoping we can kind of create our own homestead make our own dream trailer uh i kind of like the one in the background it's got all those windows and uh you know just what a what a great little scenery to get away but uh if you guys like this don't forget to hit like and subscribe Definitely drop a comment down below what your favorite part of this game is if you're looking forward to it and whatnot. We're going to try to get some more videos out here. We did have two other uh, contracts that it looks like were popped up in there. Maybe we'll uh, go back, replay it, and see if we can take those on at the same time as that previous one. But uh, there is also a sandbox mode that should also allow us to uh, kind of experiment a little bit more with the game. So keep your ear out, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good one.